Hi, it's the Allegheny Health Network Nightly Sports Call presented on the Bordis and Bordis Hotline. Bob Pompiani here at 412-575-2600. Let's go out to Donna in Delmont. What's up, Donna? Hey. Hey, Bob. I just wanted to say that's what I'm talking about. I wanted to see the Penguins play a game like that. They, had, they were all over them. They couldn't even get out of their own zone, and that's the way they need to play. And I wanted to say that kudos to Carl Hagelin. He really played a great game, and I think Benito did too, even though he didn't score. I think they were both tremendous. I thought, and thanks, Debbie, you're at, spot on with uh, Hagelin. And the one play in particular, it was a sure goal, in my opinion, with Mark Mathot. Absolutely wide open net. Hagelin sprawls to the ice and takes what would have been uh, centering feed right on his blade, and he knocks it away. And without that play, uh, they may have lost this game, for all I know. It would have been 3-2 to two at the time, much earlier than it was. And the goal then by Carlson would have made it 3-3. So those kind of plays, those little extra effort plays are huge this time. And when you're, when you're in desperation mode, as they were at the end of the game, uh, that kind of stuff helps. Let's go out to Chad and President. Where, where's President, Chad? Hey, we're halfway between Erie and Pittsburgh. Uh, All right. Tyanesta, Oil City, Franklin area. How you doing? I like Tyanesta. I've been up there a few times. Thanks. There, there you go, sir. I'm on the Allegheny River right now. Hey, sir, I just... Uh, all right, let's go Pens and let's go Bucks. But I just had a question for you. I've been reading a lot lately, uh, a lot of naysayers, and I was just wondering what you think of uh, what we've done here in the draft and, and free agency and what we've built for defense. I really feel like we're, we've got another dynasty coming here. I feel we're putting Whoa. pieces in place. Well, to, if, uh, if Brady's still playing and New England's still there, I don't know if I would say that. Uh, but thanks for the call from President. Appreciate that. Chad, what I would say is, uh, you know, now the sixth round pick makes sense to me because Greg Warren was physically not going to pass his physical. They obviously had to know that, and they drafted a long snapper, which I would never do, but they had to do, I guess. So that makes sense. Fourth round pick Dobbs, I'm not so sure of, just because fourth round picks typically don't turn into franchise quarterbacks. Dak Prescott's are rare. We'll see what happens. And he, it's only one year for him, too. We see RG3 go through that and look what happened in subsequent years. But I think overall, um, you know, they attack their needs, and that's what you got to do. You got to go after what you need, and hopefully those guys, I think you're going to see because Mike Tomlin has changed his philosophy, TJ Watt will play more than you think this year, and they'll, they'll, they'll try to force feed him a little bit. Uh, and Juju Smith Schuster will give that wide receiving group. Now, not knowing you have a tight end who they counted on when they signed him in Ladarius Green, he's more of a wide receiver than a tight end. That's another reason why I think they drafted Juju in the second round. We're out of time. We'll be back right after this.